We're going to go through the mid-sagittal section of the sheep brain dissection using the picture you see right here. So please refer to page 11 of your packet uh, on, in the section labeled mid-sagittal section of the brain. So let's look at some few major features here. Uh, in the posterior, which is right over here, you can see this very different structure with all these tree-looking white nervous tissue here. And those little white tree branches are actually a structure called the arbor vitae, which means tree of life. And so they're really named just for what they look at. And they look nice and clear here, and you can see them. Again, the arbor vitae is just the white matter. And what the arbor vitae is contained within is this entire structure called the cerebellum. And you can't see it here, but this cerebellum has both a left and right hemisphere as well just like the cerebral cortex, which you see right out here. You've got the brain stem here, the midbrain here, and this large structure here, which is grossly out of proportion compared to the human brain, uh, is the pituitary gland, which you may, have may, may or may not have seen on your own sheep brain dissection. A lot of times, this large pituitary gland, which is only connected by this structure called the infundibulum, a lot of times it gets ripped straight out, because remember that pituitary gland is in its own little... Uh, seat uh, called the cella tersica within the skull, if you remember from previous terms. So let's work our way up from the pituitary gland right here. So if we follow the infundibulum up, just anterior to where the infundibulum connects the pituitary gland to the midbrain, this structure right here, which is also pretty large in the sheep, is called the optic chiasma. It's actually a portion of the optic nerve that has been severed during the midsagittal section. Moving superior from there, you have this kind of uh, kind of hard to define region called the hypothalamus. Hypo meaning below, and thalamus referring to this structure right here, which is part of the larger structure called the thalamus, which is easier to see. It's this nice more oval region. Um, it actually protrudes uh, laterally, so we're kind of cutting through the middle of it right here. But again, this region is a little harder to point out, but just what I'm circling here, this is the hypothalamus. So just to confirm your reasoning, always try to find this nice circular thalamus, right kind of in the dead center of the brain. And then just below it is the hypothalamus. Sitting right on top of the thalamus is a very small structure, which is pretty hard to see. But right up here, that's the pineal gland, also known as the pineal body, which secretes melatonin. And another large structure of white matter, which I'm highlighting right here, is called the corpus callosum. This actually connects the left and right hemispheres of the cerebral cortex. That's another very good uh, general landmark whenever, doing a, whenever you're looking at a dissected brain. Because sometimes the proportions are different, but this corpus callosum you're always going to see right, right there. And you can always pick out that significantly lighter, teacher, uh, sorry, significantly lighter tissue than you see in the rest of the cerebellum. Sorry, cerebral cortex. That's pretty much it for your mid-sagittal section. I'll point out a few other things. In this dissection, you can see this nice light connective tissue around the outside. That thick external layer is called the dura mater. So you can see it kind of little pocket beneath it right here. Oh, I forgot one thing, and one it's kind of a mouthful. It's called the corpora quadrigemina, which are actually a couple, they're actually four. The quadra part of that word refers to four separate structures. You can only see two of them right here because it's a mid-sagittal section but there are actually two on the right and two on the left-hand side of the body, and we've cut right through them, so we can only see two here. Here's one. This is the inferior colliculus, and that's the small component of the corpora quadrigemina, and this is the superior colliculus right here. And, to get, and so the mouthful, if, if you were indicating this structure here, this would be the inferior colliculus of the corpora quadrigemina, and this would be the superior colliculus of the corpora quadrigemina. The mid-sagittal section is actually not the best way to see this corpora quadrigemina, the, this structure here. best way when you're actually doing the dissection is to leave the brain intact and actually cut just above the cerebellum here and sort of pull this way and pull down and you'll create a fracture right here in the transverse fissure, fissure which will expose the corpora quadrigemina. It'll look straight at you. And so that's the best way to access it.